Welcome back guys to my YouTube channel. Today I'm here at Centre Parks Longleat. I'm here on holiday for four days. We are staying from Monday to Friday, but I'll be taking you around the lodge we got. This is a three bedroom styled lodge. So I'll be taking you around and uh, giving you my tips and tricks on when you come to Centre Parks when you do. So further ado, I'll be taking you around, showing you everything that you get for what you pay for. I'll give you the prices and that as well on what I paid for this as well. But I'm staying here with two friends, but further ado, before I start, please, please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming content coming your way. Turn that notification bell on as well, so you guys are verified when a video goes live. And of course, please smash a like on this video. But further ado, let's get into this tour. So then guys, we are in 498. This is a very nice lodge, to be honest. So first of all, when you come to your lodge, you will have a little bike racks just there which you guys can put your bikes there if you're coming in. So what you would do on arrival, you'll get a wristband just like this. And what you do, you literally just scan this as well and it'll let you straight in. I'll tell you something about the, uh, the bands as well in a bit, but when you come into your lodge, just shut the door, you come to these two doors. Now, both lights are here, so let's switch them both on. So the first door will give you just you know, if you want to use the safe or you've got an ironing board there as well. And you've got, if you've got like a little baby, you've got that as well. And obviously the heating is there as well. And just some other little bits and bobs in here. Let's go out of this door and move into the second one. So then the second one, there we go. It's just a hoover and some brushes and, you know, the boiler as well. Not much there. But let's move into what you go into on the next bit of this tour. So then the next bit of the tour here, you have hangers for your coats, for your bags, whatever you want to put there. And you move into here. So this is the table for six people of a family of six or, you know, up to six people as well. Let's just turn this way. So first of all, you have the sofa here, which is very, very nice. I like in the style on the back here, very nice themed as well. Obviously, you've got the outside there as well. I'll show you guys that in just a second. Obviously, a table there as well. You have a little fireplace as well. I believe you've got to go and buy your own wood for that there. But there we go. Obviously, you have the TV here as well. You do have a DVD player just here. You have um, where you can plug in stuff here. So if you have a games console or you want to put anything else in there, you feel free to. You've got USBs here and a um, USB as well. And of course, you've got your HDMI as well, which is very, very handy. Moving out to the side quickly. So you've got your little barbecue there. You can go and buy your barbecues from the store. If you wanted to do that, which is in the center of where we are at the moment. Then you've got your outside table as well. There you go, guys. And then, of course, you've got the kitchen area, which I'll show you now. We did have a welcome message here, but unfortunately the guys have been you know, drawing on the board so we have to wipe all off. But then we move round to here. So you've got your toaster, you've got your cooker and your hob just there. Of course, we've already been here for a day so it's gonna look a little bit messy. But you've got your kettle here. Now, this is one thing I have to tell you guys. So our fridge was not working, but your button for the fridge is just here. So make sure when you come in, you uh, click on this one as well because we have the problem of you know, when we came. So make sure you press that button. You get your own little um, little coffee maker just here and you get some free samples as well, which is very nice for them. More uh, ports as well to plug in extra stuff. Now you've got the dishwasher here. So make sure you guys click that when you want to use a dishwasher. And of course you've got your little mini fridge just here as well, which is just here. It's obviously four at the minute, so I'm not gonna open that, but that's for wine mainly. This first drawer is just a little drawer there. Then you've got your dishwasher just here, which is very nice. We've not used it at the moment, but we probably will. Then the next one is your bin. You've got stuff in there at the moment. And obviously you get a pan and dust as well. Dust, uh, dust pan and brush, sorry. Then you move into your first drawer, which is where all your utensils are which is very, very nice. Second drawer, which is exactly the same. So you've got the pizza, you've got a board, you've got, you know, all your stuff you need pretty much. And of course, then you've got this one as well. 
There we go. Moving round. So this is just a cupboard with stuff that was already here, which is very nice of them. Then you move into your fridge, which we've put stuff in already. And of course your last drawer is here, where you've got your plates, your bowls, and all that sort of stuff. Up here, that's where your glasses are. And then you've got, of course, your microwave here, which is very, very handy. And you've got your drawer up there as well, which has got more stuff in there. And then we've got stuff in here already, but that's where you put your other stuff. This one as well is for the uh, cooker. And then I'll move into this room. So this is bedroom one, which we'll go into right now. So then this is bedroom one. Of course, one of my friends has moved both beds together, but there were two beds in here. So this is good for a family of four. Um, there's your window view of bedroom one. I'll give you another view just here. So the lodge is right next to us just there. But the views are pretty decent as well. Of course, you move around, obviously stuff here already, but there's your TV just there and your cupboards, which I'll show you quickly. Yep, nothing in it. There's your hangers just up there. And then you've got more uh, ports as well. But yeah, that is bedroom one. Let's move into bedroom two. So then to move into bedroom two, we'll take you there just now, but I want to show you this as well. Now this is just like a little sauna. So what you do is open the door just here. And of course you've got it here, which is very, very nice. So to, to activate this as well, you literally just move the dial right round. Obviously, I believe Strong's here. Then you have medium, I think it's just about here. And of course on low, it's about here. The often button is just here as well, when that light goes red. There, there you go quickly. This is what it looks like when you sit down. Obviously very, very nice. So let's move into bedroom two, guys. So then let's move into bedroom two. First of all, when you walk around the corner here, you will have your uh, bath and shower, and of course your toilet. Obviously very nice, you get given towels here as well, which is very nice, and of course the shower is very nice. You get one head there, and then the main head just up there. Of course, I'm using it in a moment, but you do get a towel rack as well, which is very nice. And of course the toilet, your sink as well, which is very nice. You get your own soaps as well, which is very nice as well. And of course your towels. Let's move into the bedroom. So personally, I really like this. So you've got your USB and your US ports just here. And of course your plug, your lights are here and here activated on by both sides with two switches. Then we have a TV on the wall, which is very nice as well. If you just want to chill out in your room as well. Of course, this room has a hairdryer just down here. And of course the mirror just here. And then we have the lighting just up there. The view of this room is pretty nice as well. There we go, guys. Of course, you could wave to your partner, your friend, if they were standing in the other window. But the views are very, very, very nice. It's just nice and quiet where we are at the moment. And it's quite far from um, the main place, but I, I really like it here. But there we go. And of course you get hangers, where you can hang up clothes and all that sort of stuff as well, which is very, very nice. And of course, a very nice picture of a flower. But that is bedroom two. Let's move in to bedroom three. So then coming from bedroom two into bedroom three, it's of course just here. Move into the bathroom quickly. You've got your toilet, you've got your sink and you've got your shower and your bath as well, which is very, very nice. This is kind of like a jacuzzi. So it works from here, the on button's just there, and you can just sit in there and just absolutely relax. You've got your towel rack, what you do in bedroom two as well, which is very nice as well. Then you move into the, the bedroom. So this is the view from outside. Nice, plain and simple. Nice to see so many trees as well. Then of course you've got the TV as well in that room as well, which is very, very nice. Then you've got the corner where you've got a nice mirror in the corner, which I very like very much, with a hairdryer and a seat. And of course, you've got your cupboard where you can put your uh, your clothes. And of course, you've got each side, you've got your USB and, you know, your plug or whatever you want to do. And you've got your corner lights as well, which is very, very nice. So I'll go into the prices now, guys, of what I paid for this and what we paid for this as well. 
So let's get into it. So again, another shot for you guys. So this is the table where you would sit down and eat here, you know, or have a drink. You know, it's very nice uh, table, a nice little view as well, just out there. You have your thermostat just there, which I didn't point out, but you can use that as well to tame down the temperature up or down. You know, one thing I have to point out as well is when you're using your dishwasher, please make sure you bring your own stuff as well because it's not provided here. You can go and buy it in the local shop, which is about a 10, 15 minute walk from where we are, which is the fair area, which, you know, I'm quite liking so far. And of course, make sure you bring your own sachets of coffee because as I said, you only get four samples with the coffee as well. Just like a little taster. I'll give you another shot of what it looks like outside a second. And of course, make sure you bring uh, your firewood. If you don't bring your firewood, then as of course, you can buy it in the local shop as well. This is another shot as well, which is very, very nice. Another thing I had to point out as well, before I give you the prices of this place, there is a train that goes by every 20 minutes. So there should be a local stop near you guys from wherever you're staying. So make sure you get the train on a Monday though, it only starts from seven onwards to about 10 because it's changeover day. But apart from that, you know, if you're staying Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you'll be fine. It goes from 8.13 in the morning. So I thought I'd just point out for you guys, but let's get into the prices. So then the big question is how much did we pay for this three bedroom lodge? We paid around about 249 pounds each Four four nights here, Monday to Friday, which I think is very, very fair. For what we got as well, it's more than enough for us three. We paid, so it was around about £729 for the whole lot, which is very, very good. From where we are as well, so we're in the fur area, so it's not far from the sports bar, it's about a 10 minute walk. But of course, though, you can get the train as well, which is going to be very, very handy, which is literally a two minute stop just from where we are now as well which is very, very nice. But, you know, of course, just get the train wherever you want to go. If you want to go swimming, if you want to, you know, if you booked any activities, if you booked the restaurant, just go and get the train, it's so much easier. But if you guys want to go for a walk, then, you know, that's personally what I like to do. But I'm gonna end it there, guys. Thank you for watching my vlog and, you know, this little tour that I've been doing. If you can do me a favor though, please, please put a like on this video, please subscribe to the channel and please turn that notification bell on as well. So you guys are verified when a video goes live. So much more content coming in the next few weeks. So you're not gonna wanna miss it, but further ado, see you guys in the next one.